think we're on a roll when it comes to motorcycle road rage. I don't want you guys making this mistake, so make sure you pay attention to this. We're going to be talking about three examples of dumb motorcycle road rage. We got dumb example one, dumb example two, and dumb example three. I'm not going to go too much into it here at the intro, but make sure you click that join button, hit that like button, and let's get started. Right now, and say that you shouldn't be riding in the road like I am, no matter how awesome it is. It's breaking the law. No headlight. And it's like so dangerous, <laughs> but it's awesome. So you, you could probably do it. And no. if you ever get in this kind of situation where someone's calling the police, if you have a way out, dude, get out of there, man. <laughs> and if the person yelling at you is being a total douche, put them in their place. Don't no. be a like I am. No. Right, here's the vid. It's true. It's true. What's illegal on the property? Is it illegal over there? This is a park, a city park. You can't ride it there. We're stopping you here. Well, is this street legal? Yeah. Oh, it is, huh? Where's the headlights and the license plates? Uh, so, just real quick. So this now the guy in the in the van or whatever is doing what we're saying not to do for the motorcyclists. So it's not it's none of his business if these are street legal or street legal or not. But the thing is, if they're not street legal, what are you doing in the first place? You know, there's a reason why they're street legal. You need a headlight, you need mirrors so you can actually be situationally aware and that way you can be seen and you can see too. So it's all about risk management. I, I don't care about the legalities of all these things. It's just don't be don't be that guy either. So the thing is, the guy's going to call the cops. That's the right thing to do if you feel like you need to. The cops aren't going to make it a priority, though. You guys sit right here. I'm not going anywhere. You don't have to sit there. If he tries to block you in, that's what I believe false imprisonment or whatever. I'm not a lawyer or anything, so this is not legal advice. The thing is, he, he cannot be taking you there, okay? I think there's like a Fourth Amendment or something. Or something. You can leave. Just leave. My gas is off. I'm sitting. Sir? My right, gas is off. I'm sitting. We're leaving. Yeah, yeah, you can leave. Yeah, we I'm all not are going leaving. anywhere. You're not leaving, man. The cops are on the Yeah, unlawful detainment. Yeah, or something. You can leave. He's not a cop. This isn't a lawful order to stay. You're not under arrest. You're not de being detained. Yeah, you can leave, guys. All right, so we're moving through traffic here. Intersection. Typical merging, non-issue. Where are you going to go? It's a red light anyways. You had to slow down and stop. Let her drink her Cafe Mocha. So remember, we're trying to figure out what was good, what was bad. Was right we here. obviously know a lot of the bad. I was right here in this lane, and you turned into me. No, you were you were in the right lane. You were in the right lane. You gotta look in your mirrors. You see how her perspective was different because all she knew was the moment she saw you was when you're right next to her. So that is her perspective. We have a grander perspective, a bigger perspective of where we can see everything because we're constantly on high alert because we're motorcycle riders. So we knew the events leading up to this. She didn't know the events leading up to this. She just knew the event when it started, which was you saying something to her. And that is that inattentional blindness. So you can't argue that point that, that all these things happen when they can't understand it. And you're not going to get that from a small conversation. It's like trying to get a point across with one tweet. It's not going to happen. You have to spend a couple minutes talking to somebody back and forth, back and forth, understanding who they are, understanding you are, and then all these different... You can't do that with a, a small conversation on the side of the road when you're agitated on top of it. So let's go back just a little bit, okay? So this is the biggest thing here. This is why I don't even uh, attempt any of these things. All right, so we're moving through here. It's a red light, so we should be downshifting, utilizing engine braking, utilizing... Uh, so maybe for front progressive brake pressure, if we have to, we're going to get into our lane. This is a line of sight issue. We don't know what's around that vehicle anyways. And here's the thing. This Jeep is it maybe wants to switch into this lane, but it's not going to do so right now because this vehicle is blocking it. This Jeep can't get in yet. So as soon as they pass this right here, they're going to get in. Okay, so you always have to anticipate that you're already going into orange stage anyways because of these things. So we're moving forward right now. 
And okay, now we have great line of sight. So play, pay attention to that. The good thing that we're gonna learn from this is line of sight issue two. So we're moving, we're moving. We should be slowing down anyways. It's a red light. Why are we rushing to get into our place? No, no, no. Here's the cool thing. This is what I like to do. So we're gonna take a little bit more of good stuff. This right here, this total stopping distance, because you have to stop, it's red light. Treat this as training. Treat this as your slow, straight line. So you're going down shifting, you're being smooth, slow, straight line. You're getting closer and closer and closer. You're never having to touch the ground with your feet because you're still waiting for that light to turn green. You're just having a good time. You're practicing, keeping situationally aware while maintaining good primary controls. You're doing friction zone, throttle control while down shifting. Man, you're doing a great job. And then you're going to get finally get to where you need to go. Hey, that's a training session right there without ever having to go to a parking lot. That's how I do it. That's what I do. And the thing is, when you do it like that, you're in control of the situation. So we're moving forward right now. Boom. As soon as you see that uh, tire going across the line, go ahead and do some progressive brake pressure. At no point are we in, in a life-threatening situation. We have this space right here. We're good. And we should be downshifting, slowing down. We can do good progressive brake pressure to slow down and stop if we had to. Non-issue. That's why I'm saying it's a non-issue. This, this whole thing is, is dum-dums. So to rev bomb, to do all that stuff, doesn't matter. And here's the thing. In California, he can lane filter, so her perspective is wrong on this. So right here, here's the beautiful thing. Hey, this was my lane. You shouldn't have cut me off. Well, here's the thing. This car driver has to stop right here. In California and Utah, at least in the United States, starting now, you know, what is today? February, what? Uh, 18th, 2021, those are the only two states that allow it. We can go ahead and filter all the way to the front. That person has to stay right here. We're already doing better. We're already having a better day than this person. All she can do is sit in her car, drinking her mocha cafe lattes, all right? That's it. Real quick, I'd like to say thank you to Cardo for sponsoring this channel. I'm actually using their cool little headset thingy thing so I could talk to my kids on their Cardo Pack Talks. Make sure you guys grab yourself a Cardo Pack Talk. Bold, slim, free com, whatever you want. With the link in the description, you're going to get a discount. Anyways, let's get back. All right, we're moving on. Why do you... Oh, shoot. Let's go ahead and do this. All right. Why do you think he did that? I gave you guys a little heads up. Oh, now we're just blocking him in. Don't do this. Hey, look at... Don't... Now, look what you're doing. You're supposed to use it. Use your Use the mirror. What are you going to do? Jump out there and do what? For nearly having me off? Use your Open lane, huh, Prodigal? Yep. Other lane's moving. Our lane, or their lane isn't moving. Our lane is. It's a huge pattern that we see all the time. To get agitated by it is because it surprised you. So the fact that the crew members out here in the class right now are recognizing these patterns. Do you guys get angry anymore? Write it in the comments. Do you get angry as much anymore because you're starting to recognize side of the vehicle? You're starting to recognize intersection corners a lot more. You're starting to recognize these open pa uh, lane patterns. You're starting to recognize all these different things. Let me know in the comments if you are getting less angry. May I'm not, you might still be getting angry, but you're getting less angry. It's because surprises aren't really happening to you anymore. All right, so we're going to be moving in here. So the, here's the big pattern I want you guys to know. So this lane is completely moving. We're going, we're moving. Woo! Having a good day. The problem is this lane isn't moving. So if you were in this lane right here, this one right here, I'm pointing at it. If you were in this lane right here and it wasn't moving, what is it that you would want to do if you were that car? You would want to switch lanes. Pretty simple, right? If you want to do it, anticipate that these car drivers want to do it too. So when you're traveling in this lane, always anticipate anybody wanting to come out into our lane. If you have that anticipation, you're already planning a ride. So you're going to position yourself for safety. So you're going to be off over here. So if anybody does come into our lane, we can accelerate or decelerate to get ourselves away from that path of travel. So we located the hazardous situation. We're going to adapt to it and navigate if we have to, okay? Ah! Panic. So what can we do here? We can decelerate, because we're only going 39. Okay, we can decelerate, or we can accelerate and swerve a little bit. Simple as that. Now, this is the thing I don't want you guys doing. S staying right here 
and now surprising this car driver because he's like, whoa, 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 there's a motorcycle rider there. And now he's stopped. I can't I have to get back in. There's just too much. And what are we doing? We're blocking the road with us, a, a small vehicle. It, law of gross tonnage, everybody. You should know this by now. Don't do that. Thank you. So don't be blocking people. And thankfully, he actually saw that and moved back into his lane. And look at that. People are like, no. They're like, we're not going to wait for you. We're not going to wait. We're going to go. So now we're blocking traffic. Now we're creating hazardous situations for people behind us, possibly getting uh, us getting hit. You know, now we're having all these different issues, everybody. Come on now. Joshua Wilder, welcome to the crew, baby. Jesus you see that mirror? You're supposed to use it. Use your doesn't matter. Use doesn't matter. Mirror. Doesn't matter. What are you gonna do? Use your use your situational awareness you skills, everybody. Deal. Plan your ride. Use How about mirror. that? So now take a look. We also have another possibility of any of these other vehicles coming out. So we this person come out, this person, this person, this person. So we got all these other people. So instead of being in lane position one, even now, let's move over to like lane position two and a half. How about that? Just so we can give ourselves a bigger space cushion. This bigger space right here. Give ourselves a bigger space cushion so we can adapt sooner. Guys, if you like this kind of stuff, we do this every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel at 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time live. So make sure you check that out. But if you want to check out some other things like this video right here or this video right here, please do so. It supports the channel. Click that like button, by the way. Check into class. Anyways, I'll be seeing you around.